All right, I'm back in the spirit. Hey, today is a day of prayer, prayer, and more prayer. I'm about to bust some devils. We're taking our city for Jesus, amen. I'm about to have a prayer meeting with my Awakening Prayer Hub's leaders, and then we're hitting the streets, downtown Fort Lauderdale, to shut down a smut shop. It's called Operation Purge. We're purging our city from the spirits of Sodom and Gomorrah. I said, we're purging our city from the spirits of Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm about tired of all manner of perversion. There's a principality and there's a power pushing perversion upon our youth, pushing perversion in our schools, in our stores, and we're about to go down and strike and strike and strike until the devil decides he's tired of us hitting him in the head and flees, amen? Let's go. All right, I'm back in the spirit. There's road ragers here in South Florida, but we're heading down to Fort Lauderdale Beach to shut down this smut shop now. The one and only PV. See if we can find the rest of this team. Welcome to the what? city. Thank I'm you, that's what I said. We're on a scooter. How are you? Hi. This is our tribe. <laughs> there is, there's a lot of perversion in South Florida. So this, this right here, this is representative, okay? There's a lot of smut shops in Fort Lauderdale. There's a lot of uh, gentlemen's clubs in Fort Lauderdale. There's a lot of pornography shops in Fort Lauderdale. But this is just a representative. We're starting here, but when we pray for this one, we're believing it's gonna be like a domino effect and they'll all fall, right? So we speak to this mountain of perversion in Jesus' name, and we cast you into the sea in the name of Jesus. We speak to this mountain of perversion in the name of Jesus, and we say, be thou removed and be cast into the sea. These smut businesses, we say be thou removed and cast out of our city in Jesus' name. So we lift up a standard of righteousness in our city and we bless our city in Jesus' name. And we decree and declare that God is raising up a standard, that God is raising up a mayors and city councilmen who will vote against perversion, who will rezone areas to disallow perversion in our city in Jesus' name. Raise up righteous leaders that disallow purveyors of perversion from operating in our city in Jesus name and finally Deuteronomy 8 28 verse 7 the Lord shall cause thy enemies that come against you one way to flee seven ways so father we thank you that we are submitted to you we repent for any of our sin anything that's not pleasing to you we submit ourselves to you and we know the enemy has to flee when we are submitted and so we command the enemy called perversion to flee seven ways from us yes to flee seven ways from our city, to flee and never come back again. We cast you out and we say you shall return no more in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 This is the smut shop and I'm going to lay my hands on it. And I'm going to command the root of perversion here to dry up. I'm not cursing the business, understand? I'm not cursing the business. But I'm going to command the root of perversion in this place to dry up in Jesus' name. I speak to this Smut shop, and I command you to close your doors in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, Every place we put our foot, wherever we tread, it belongs to us. So I'm claiming this, I'm going to call it a former smut shop. I'm claiming this corner, a very high traffic corner for Fort Lauderdale, I'm claiming it for the Lord Jesus Christ. I say there's going to be a, a sex traffic rescue uh, mission here, where there's going to be a homeless feeding mission here, where there's going to be a church here, where there's going to be a righteous kingdom business here. In the name of Jesus, as I walk around this building, we're claiming this property right here. We're redeeming it for the Lord. Let the King of Glory come in. Let the King of Glory come in. We push back that spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah over our city. We say, let the King of Glory come in. Let the King of Glory come in. Penetrate the darkness, O Lord. Let your light break forth in Jesus' name. Did anybody sense anything? I mean, what were your impressions of that? That was probably, that's the way to travail. Yeah, I think I had an impression of the I started declaring the type of business, kingdom, mind, and natural, just things that God created that we can enjoy and family can come, families can come and enjoy. That visitors come seeking pure things and 
uh, enjoyment as a family and not all everything that is here now, all the darkness that is here. It came to me, I was really crying, you know, yeah. because I can see how the enemy has perverted perver and twisted just the, the, the nature of the great, because it's a great that were on the sidewalks laying down and everything, like how hopeless, you know, that they, that they seem, like how downtrodden they are, you know, and it's just like the souls, what might have, like, what trauma they might have gone through and just to like, get trauma, there. yeah, so I just like really felt sad, and the sense of, and feeling sick, I actually witnessed a lady pulling down her things at the top and trying to get on the other man. Lord, I beg to bless this and remove all this nastiness and dirtiness, Lord. Because what I just witnessed is awful, constitutional value. And it's just so okay for people to see it that way. We need, we need to ignore over this city. We cannot have that anymore, Lord. We move everything that is just bringing down the city, Lord. We need you to bless this city and to be more like you, Lord. It breaks my heart and it just brings tears to mine for what I saw. We cannot be going through that anymore. And then just women to see okay because they need money or whatever that is Lord we cannot have it anymore Jesus really praying also for the church repenting for the church mm -hmm. that we really, really have been ignoring it mm -hmm. having looking the other way having a apathy you know like cold hearted to things that our abomination to God, you know? And then as we were walking by the shop, the guy gave me his heart, which I took and prayed over the trash. Um, but we were walking back, and there's a bar, there's a bar next to it, and I could feel the demonic demons watching us. And I'm like, okay, I got this. So I got shot, but you know, we did some work there. Um, and then we also were praying about the prostitution and heightening people's spiritual and natural senses to be aware of these dark things. And people's ill intent and praying for the salvation of the pimps and the people who are coming here with wickedness in their heart and intent to harm. So that was really awesome to just see how, and, and I could feel the witchcraft in the atmosphere, but I can also feel the presence of God with us through the praying. So that was really awesome. I plead the blood of Jesus over all these prayer warriors, Father, and I thank you that we are protected. I break and bind every hindering spirit, every spirit of retaliation. We break the powers of it. We stand against it in Jesus' name. We push back the darkness, and we say no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But this is the, a new day. It's a season of new days, and we're stepping into a new strategy to reach the lost in our territory by a rhema word of God. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, as we go protect us, cover us, and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.